think we we not so Eastern Europe country like always everyone said we really more north so the black metal and have that power like a band Nahash they play from 93 and 94 uh, so they build it up that inside that it's working now and uh, young people understand that and start playing and feel it that it's not just the music it's living stuff and you if you wanted to play that you you should understand more than a, like few chords or something like that like we have quite quite good scene we growing up with the with that scene and now the big bands from Lithuania it's playing almost in all biggest festivals in Europe so we have our Deju like the band who's not playing a lot in Lithuania but playing in all kind of uh, Europe big festivals we have like big traditionals in black metal not so big in uh, hardcore but it's now I think building up and all from that to that it's working well <laughs> so I, I think we we quite good at it this is our home we create this this stuff like for us we all playing in the band so we know what you need when you're coming like a band but also we know what you need to go when you're going in the bar so beers, craft beers, a lot of whiskey and you know good good vibes inside. So that's what we have in Lithuania. Also we have in Vilnius a few nice clubs and places for for the shows. You Armageddon Descent this is a really extreme black metal and electronic festival so I recommend it who like that and just don't forget that small country like Lithuania have quite good shows. Like Kilkim Zaibu, it's old, really big, uh, big and black and extreme and also with the uh, ancient warriors and you know it, that there it's my festival and I should go. Baltic um, pagan band and um, so its focus is on death and it's called Velunamui which means the home of, 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 of the dead or the Baltic spirits so it's just um, kind of my own personal philosophical adventure with uh, the concept of death and that's what I'm kind of trying to yeah, show and just focus on the mythology so they have all these different spirits and actors and um, they're kind of just showing that, I mean, death is part of life, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, in general, I would say that there's, um, because of the history and because we have, um, we were, you know, the last uh, pagans in Europe, at least officially as a country, so we accepted Christianity quite uh, later on. And because of that, you have lots of kind of pagan remnants in the culture. 
We've got Kilkimjaibu Festival. I used, I was there about 2007, I remember. It was nuts. <laughs> this one dude That's crazy. <laughs> wanted to jump into the pond, but he missed. He broke his neck and next morning I still saw him in the festival. He ran away from the hospital to go back to the festival. He was Latvian or Finnish something, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a lot of Finns that keep drinking a lot of alcohol and yeah. buying everyone else. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's developed into a really nice, you know, like festival, like big venue, everything. But before it was, you know, like really, really underground. Yeah. Now also Devil's Town. Well, it's you know, like it's for broader public. You have like. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You can experiment, go and listen to something you wouldn't listen. So yeah, that's quite good as well. Yeah, that's like more cultural. That's more for the Baltic pagan uh, scene. In my opinion, uh, for Menoya Daragas, you should come there if you want to feel nature, if you want to feel real, real uh, things, not not shows, not fake stuff, but get to the car. And we're really, it's, it's a festival that's not afraid to be different um, and just local in a way, you know? organization itself it's it's like a 10 on 10 it's perfect like good people with a good mentality very friendly supportive like they're a team it's not just people organizing a show together like it, it's a strong team with much, a lot of love and we felt that so when you see so much devotion from the people organiz, organizing it then you have to nail it on stage, you don't want to disappoint them because they really put a lot of energy, they put their soul in, into the, the project, money and yeah, you want to give the best. The audience surprised us in a very good way because it was really a war black metal lineup and then we were a little afraid because we are totally not. It was a last addition because one band cancelled and they well, they accepted us, like, totally. We were really surprised. So, the thing is, don't judge too fast, whatever the scenario. And yeah, concerning uh, people that try to, to bash bands, if you, if you are looking for mud, just do it first in your own family. And I, when I say family, it's like, your own family, but also your own scene, whatever. Just look into the mirror and then judge other people. Next um, is our drummer going to the studio next week to record drums. And then we will do bass. All the guitars are already recorded. And then Shazula will improvise with analogic theremin keyboards and FN on vocals. And I think we should have an album like in October. It's difficult to, to say it, like it will happen at 100%, but that's the plan. And yeah, in five years, I hope we'll still be there. But I mean, I'm not naive, we're six people and everything can happen. We just enjoy it as much as we can when it's happening. Like we live in, in the present, we are always working on music, but Sometimes I have more respect for bands that can stop at the good moment. If I have the feeling that we are repeating ourselves too much, we maybe we'll do a, like a, a hiatus status. 
whatever we don't have to do music to do just just for the sake of doing music I mean quality first and the audience will always decide we we exist because people just ask us to play and and thank you guys and I hope we will not disappoint you with the next album.